Hello everyone, I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Don Watzel with your afternoon video update for Tuesday, November 17th. Well, we're looking pretty good so far on this Tuesday and mild temperatures should remain in eastern sections of the state for a couple days yet, but we're going to start to turn slightly cooler in the west due to various reasons. One of those is mountain snow along with a light rain snow mix returning off and on starting tomorrow in the morning and continuing off and on for the second half of the work week. Also, after enjoying a brief respite from the strong wind gusts, they're going to make a return beginning late tonight and continuing throughout Wednesday as well, primarily in our wind prone areas. Starting tonight, looking pretty dry across the state. However, some of the weather impacts will be increasing wind gusts near 50 miles an hour or more in the Wyoming section of the Black Hills in northeastern Wyoming. And throughout the night from about midnight until daybreak, we're going to start to see those wind gusts impact sections of I-80 from Rawlins to about Laramie. Now we're not going to have widespread gusts near 60 miles an hour, but the best opportunity for those winds will be along Elk Mountain and Arlington in this section of southeastern Wyoming. They're going to get a head start and probably see some wind gusts near 60 miles an hour during the overnight hours and continuing until Wednesday. Now while it's not highlighted on this map, we could probably include South Pass and West Central Wyoming as well as the wind prone sections of the Cody Foothills, especially Highway 212 near Clark. We're probably going to start to see some wind gusts in that 40 to 50 mile an hour range overnight and continuing into Wednesday. Then for Wednesday, starting in the west, we're going to see developing mountain snow with rain and snow in the valleys, as well as mountain elevations around 8,000 feet and below, starting around 8 to 10 in the morning and continuing throughout the afternoon and evening. The mountain snow will intensify throughout the afternoon and probably not impact too many roadways, but Teton and Togedy Passes will probably get in on some snow, especially into the afternoon and evening hours. Meanwhile, continuing into Wednesday night, rain snow eventually becoming snow showers in the valleys with about 2 to 4 inches possible in some of the lower lying areas, while the higher mountain peaks maybe get up to 3 to 6. Elsewhere along the state, in the southwest, we're going to see dry conditions throughout the afternoon and then evening rain showers will develop with a chance for a rain-snow mix along with breezy winds. This will affect Interstate 80 west of Rollins, continuing through Rock Springs and also lasting through about Evanston and into Utah. Now this far southwestern corner may get a little more snow activity during the night with some trace accumulations on the roadways and grassy areas. Further east, during the day, those strong wind gusts will impact I-80 as well as the Laramie Valley. Gusts should be more uniform at 50 to 60 miles an hour through late afternoon. Then they'll turn to breezy overnight with some light rain and snow showers. Also in the Black Hills of northeast Wyoming, some 60 mile an hour gusts possible through the afternoon. Light snow showers for the Bighorns, just a trace amount possible. Then the rest of the state should be mainly dry and still mild, especially east of the Continental Divide with winds on the breezy side. Could see some afternoon gusts around 20 to 30 miles an hour. Thanks for listening and watching. We'll talk to you again soon.